we're not going to be here very long. The land will be here long after we're gone. The generations that utilize that land are depending on us to take care of it. I'm Stephen Yardley and our operation is located in southern Utah in a town called Beaver. We're spread out over 110 miles from our winter range to our summer range. These are our mother cows. This is the heart of our program. We have run about 500 head of mother cows and we always believe in having more feed than cattle and we always believe that fat cattle are happy cattle. So we try and take good care of our cows and always have them in good shape. Um, I'm Rodney Tykert. I married Gibbs' daughter, Tanya, and we're here at the ranch full time. But uh, this country here, you can see, it, we did a railing, a chaining here, and uh, then reseeded it. Um, also, on a lot of this ground here, uh, we did a spike treatment, and uh, that was really beneficial. That increased our feed a lot. On the West Desert, it's really an arid region that we winter on. We've put in a lot of wells and pipelines and developed springs out there, put in solar panels and windmills to pull the water out of the ground. We try and have a holistic approach to cattle management, taking care of their nutritional needs along with their, a good vaccination program, a good mineral program, and good genetics. So. That's what's made our program what it is today and based around hard work and integrity and honesty and taking care of our customers. I'd like my grandkids and great grandkids to remember me as a great cow man, a great horse man, and a, a great father and grandfather. I try to teach these kids to live an honorable life and uh, live the principles of Christianity. I think the land has a voice and if we uh, kind of take a big picture look and look at the ground and the water and the plants and the animals and, and the people that are making a living off the land too, um, that it'll tell us how we're doing. Well, we're the marine family. Marine Ranch and Canyon Meadows Ranch and we're honored to be here today as finalist in the Leopold Award and we just every year we we look for more projects that we can do to conserve the land and the water resources. Uh, over the last uh, couple of decades we've um, shifted from farming and finishing cattle in a feedlot to uh, grazing and finishing cattle on pasture. These steers are uh, part of our Canyon Meadows Ranch natural grass-fed beef marketing program. And they are certified natural. They've never had antibiotics or hormones. And they're grass-fed and grass-finished. We try to manage the grazing with the right density and, and intensity so that we're, the animals are performing well and we leave ground cover to conserve moisture in the soil and um, build soil as we go. The, the bulk of our pairs run on two uh, forest permits during the summer and the, the pasture is pretty good but the stock water is a challenge. We've had to uh, kind of spread the cows out to keep them watered. Um, so over the years uh, we worked with the, the Forest Service and with uh, Utah's Grazing Improvement Program to collect some of those springs together where we can put in storage tanks and then uh, distribution lines off of there. have maintained the flood irrigation along with using sprinklers that we maintain the groundwater and habitat by, by still keeping some of the flood irrigation and In the morning when I get up and go to work, I step out my door in the morning's rays and I look at my fields and they're green. And that's what drives me to do what I do. It's life. The ability to see life regenerate, to grow crops, to see animals flourish, to see nature thrive, to preserve those things. 
Hi, my name is Shay Lewis. I farm with my two brothers and my father. Uh, we farm quite a bit of ground, a lot of it's leased property. Um, my great-great-grandfather came to this area in 1912 and bought a small parcel of ground. We like to take care of the ground. We like to keep it tidy and things in repair and not have trash. We like to control erosion and make pastures better and have wildlife and its abundance all around. We used to own cattle and then we had a drought and sold them all, but we continue to do what we've been doing, develop ponds, mowing, reseedings. In some areas where the cows grazed heavily, there's, there isn't much of a grass stand left, and so we go in and reseed it by hand and try and get it to establish again. In a big flood event, a large rainstorm, we have a lot of sediment that will wash off the fields and fill up our ponds. We finally figure out a way to control it. We have ponds above that catch all the sediment and then the ones below it are the ones that actually receive the water so it's clean and it doesn't fill the pond up. That way we're able to maintain our springs, especially in a drought. That's one of the things we do for conservation. I'm married to a wonderful lady named Cheryl and we have five children. However, four of them are in the military right now and one's on a mission for her church and they're unable to be with me on the video.